So I didn't quit, I got fired. Everybody in my department got fired. We all got laid off one day and I had three months severance and said, well, this sucks, but what can I do during those three months? And it gave me enough of insurance to really chase my dreams of, of taking photography full time and looking at it as a profession, looking at it as a business. It gave me that buffer that I needed to feel like I needed to get stuff done. You know, frankly, it was one of the, the worst things that happened at the time, but one of the best things that changed my life. And frankly, I wish I had uh, effectively the, the guts to do that myself. If I, would have, if I would have quit earlier and just put myself under the fire, I think I would have been a lot more successful than I am today. You know, ultimately, when you think about where you succeed, I succeed best when my back's against the wall, which is why I try to take on so much. But when I try to, uh, if I have too much lead time, I effectively procrastinate. But if I can give myself a, a point to where my back is against the wall consistently, I'm constantly moving forward. Having goals, having deadlines, being beholden to people, making promises to people to know that that's what matters to me most. And if I, if I focus on the things that matter to me psychologically, that I'll do them. So effectively, everything that I do is beholden to someone else, whether that's a project, a client, something that I'm trying to achieve, consistently trying to put myself in a new position, uncomfortable so I can continue moving forward and growing. Jeff Rojas, photographing men, scene one, shot five, take one.